Okay guys, so I'm going to be doing something li a little different for today's video. I know a lot of my subscribers have actually been asking for either an Asuka guide or just a, a basic guide for beginners. You understand because I know a lot of the subscribers that I gained over the last few months have been new fans to the Tekken series. They've come from either Street Fighter or another fighting franchise and they've just gotten really interested in the Tekken game which I know is a brilliant game. So. What I'm going to try and do is give a quick no BS tutorial on the basics of how I went from, I personally went from a beginner player to an intermediate player that has placed in tournaments and has professionally gone and played. So I'm just going to try and do this instead of just doing this in a boring sort of way, just talking through each step. I'm going to do this in a more stressful environment I'm gonna do this in actual matches and I'm gonna try and narrate what I'm doing so I play with a quite mid tier character not one of the high tier characters like you'd expect so not one of the Mishima players or one of Dragonov or Nina not one of the top tier characters I'm playing with a very mid tier character but you'll see it doesn't really make a difference when if you know the fundamentals of the game and you knew, use your character wisely. So I'll be playing with Asuka. And what I hope to sort of... Sort of instill in your mind today is the basics of movement first of all. So, of course, in this game you can move in a 3D plane. And typically the best part of moving in a 3D plane is that you can sidestep. So you can sidestep left and you can sidestep right. Obviously this is just press by pressing um, pressing and holding the up directional button twice or double tapping it the bottom directional button twice and holding it. But the main focus of Tekken competitively is being able to back dash out of the way. Now a lot of people will be doing Korean back dash. So you'll be seeing a lot of my high level replays, as you know. I am a content collector of all the highest level Korean gameplays and Asian gameplays and the US and UK top players. So I actually have every single character playlist. So if you do need to learn anything about your specific character, you can just click on my channel, click where the playlists are and pick your character and you'll see a bevy of high level gameplay of your character for you to learn. But yeah, you'll see a lot of them doing the Korean backlist, which to a beginner player is a bit daunting. Even to me, I don't really use the Korean backdash that much. What I like to do is just simple, simple movement, tricking the cat, tricking my opponent. So I like to, basically I'm just pressing each of the directional buttons at once or twice. So to do, to do a simple backdash like this, I'm literally just alternating between the back dash button and the bot bottom um, D-pad button. So the back, d-pad button and the bottom d-pad button so typically this is called b and d so I'm alternating between b and d and this is my backdash if you want to get and if you really need to if you really want to get out of the way something not often used is you can press back and up forward no back and back for back uh, up backwards sorry so back and back upwards at the same time I, I can probably show you is when this is when oh god if I can actually do it yeah so some large majority of cases even against the top players this backdash does not cause me any problems because especially something in consider with Tekken 7 compared to Tag 2 is the game is a lot more close knit and a lot more close packed so you've seen as a result characters such as Feng which have a lot of like Feng who have a lot of close quarters combat moves have actually moved up the tier list so I'll show you but just simple backdashing is, works fine here in this game for intermediate players because at the end of the day no one is going to become a pro player overnight Okay, so with that, I was able to get enough distance. As you can see, his close combat barrel, he's, he's, come, he's already come into my my area. 
Now, now that he's coming to my area, I can put on the offense. Asuka is not typically known for her offense, but as I said, tier lists do not matter as long as you use the character in your own way. That would have required a punish. You need to know your punishes in this game as well. But I'll move on to later. Right now, I just want to go over the movement, how I can get out of the way, do what I want. See, I almost caught him like that just by backdashing. Okay. Obviously, I was at a wall there, and that is where backdashing and movement is where you are, you're stopped. And why being at a wall is always a disadvantage. Okay, so we're back to movement. So you can move out of the way, make them think that you're backing away, and then quickly come in with a forward, forward, forward attack, which every character has. This way I'm, at, I'm able to catch him off guard very easily. But of course, be careful of your ranges, as there are a number of times there where he could have easily punished me. Of course, also, you saw there he did what was called a tracking move. My tracking move is that, and you saw Tre Feng do his own. That means when when you are backdashing, you can still get hit. So this is where where you're sighting. You have to be able to, be able to block and move at the same time. So putting all of that into practice. First, I'm going to do movement. Then I'm going to come in with my own attack. I've got him a number of times like that, just, just by moving out, tricking him. Okay, he's doing a lot of mix-ups now, which you can actually combo, but they're unsafe if blocked. Oh no. So I caught him off guard there. I've been backdiving so much, when I do a forward move, he's really caught off guard. And now in the final round, I'm turning up the offense extremely so he's being he's getting a bit flustered also another thing I just showed there is the power of strings you gotta know your character's strings because a lot of the time they lead to very very good oki and very very good damage if they hit so typically this entire time for the majority of the match you'd be watching me do this now this in itself is actually punishable but in Tekken 7 she's been given an extension so as they're caught off guard by that I'm now able to combo into whatever I want straight from there so now that we've gone through the basics of simple movement simple backlash simple movement I'm now going to go into the basics of trying to block. Now, of course, there's no one, there's no one who can show you a way to block everything in the game, as that is impossible. If there was someone who could block every single in the game, they would be the number one player. So, a lot of the things that you need to know in about Tekken is the power of the mix-up. Now, Tekken is made up of highs, mids, and lows. Now. A lot of moves I'll give example. Casco is a perfect example that she has great mix-ups because she has a high mid and she has a high low. Now there is no way for someone to just see this and for someone to react and block, especially when Asuka has a high mid mid and a high low low, and she has a high mid low. There is no way for someone to react, but you can see certain moves which are on their own a low or a mid are easy to react to so Asuka's low here is quite slow compared to this it's quite slow and its range is also limited for moves like that you need to be prepared but a technique that most most people in the higher ranks use is to back this straight into your face and do either a mid or a low mix up Asuka's low mid mix up and when she's dashing right into your face is 1-2 which combos or 
as I said, this, which also combos. Now, the only way to get to be safe around the sort of in your face dash up is of course you need to be moving yourself. You need to be moving the entire time and you need to keep distance. Typically each character will have a move which creates distance. Asuka has this move, she also has a number of forward attacks. She's also been given this move as well to create distance. Use your strings to your advantage. Strings can also be used to give you distance. Because Kazuya could be moving towards me ready to get, do an electric wing god fist. And all I need to do to just stop him is either a quick mid or I can go the other way, a low, which would also dodge his electric. And I can just create distance in this way. In the next match I hope to show you how I can create distance between you and the character so you don't need to deal with mix ups so often. Okay, so luckily we're going to be playing a Kazuya player, just as we were playing with that dummy. So, like I said, I'm going to try and show you, in combination, the movement which I showed you, the simple movement you can use to create some space, and how you can use simple mid, simple pokes, and strings to try and get some distance between your characters. And so, in that way you'll be able to control the rhythm of the game. Okay, so like I said, he was unable to... Uh, block the string as he was, un his un he was not anticipating me to finish the string again he was not he's not anticipating it again okay now I'm at the wall so I need to find a way to get out of here so what I did there was I sidestepped and then did a launch that is another way to get out of the way of the wall so I used the move there to create some distance there's now distance between us distance now he's at the wall I can try and put on some offense now and now I'm back at the wall okay that's good he did a low parody he anticipated the low But again, I need to show still how I can still create space. And I've been backlashing for a while now, so I can do a forward attack if I want to. And he won't anticipate it. Can backdash. Can backdash, do a forward attack. Okay, well, let's just. Okay, so because he's been frustrated now as well from the backdashing and the distance creating, he's then resorted to a rage art, which as you know is very punishable. So the next thing actually to talk about with regards to how to become an intermediate player is so so far you know backdashing is important movement. If they if you're at the wall you need to get away from the wall. Good way to do that is to just sidestep a move and then launch. Now that could be for Asuka the 1 plus 2 or for any other character it could be a hop kick, hop kick then straight into combo and get out there. And in the meantime if you also want to create distance you can do simple pokes, strings to get out of the way. Now what we need to focus on now is the art of doing combos and landing your combos always. So you need to first of all spend some time in practice mode learning your combos. Because as you'll see in this next match, my combos are what are getting me, I'd say about 60% of the damage that I'm creating. The other amount is just pokes and frame traps. But combos are very important, so know your combos, you can always upgrade your combos, learn more and more combos. The best way to learn combos is to go onto my character playlists and watch the high level Korean players play with your character. As they will know the most efficient combos for each character they play. And they will be the most damaging as well. Some of them will be very difficult, but they will be the most damaging also. Okay, so I'm backdashing, and I've come in with a forward move. 
coming with a forward move, which he wasn't anticipating, which he then tried to punish, and then I parried him. So I'm backdashing again. He's doing a lot of interesting backdashing. This guy is obviously quite good. I'm creating distance. Breaking throws. Creating distance. And then I'm going on the offense and he's not going to anticipate it. See what I mean? Backdash and then go on the offense. Backdash, create distance and then go on the offense. And then in this final round you can do whatever you want. So I can go straight on the offense because he's not anticipating any of it. Again, back bash. He's trying to catch me. But it's useless. The fundamentals of this game rely in your movement, your back dash, which can do a very simple back dash, your combos, and your ability to control the space of the game. The rest of the mechanics of the game, which I, I can go through briefly, the rage art, the rage drive, these all come up, you come later, these sort of things you can come up in your brain, how how are you best going to use this move? You can just time it at the right time and you can use them. Round one. Fight. Okay, so I'm creating space to go. And then I've come in with a forward attack because he's not coming with the offense. He's not anticipating the offense. And now I'm at the back. I'm now I'm at the wall. I need to get out of the wall. I'm out of the wall. I'm safe. Come in with the offense because he's attacking me a bit too much now. So, and now I'm already in the lead again. And he's got flustered. So. He's lost the game because he did a rage arc because he got flustered by all the movement you've been doing. Round two. Just as that Kazuya player did as well. Create some distance. Create some distance. Distance. Okay. See, he's gotten a bit closer than you use a move on the offense. Oh. Just come in and finish the game quickly with a quick low. Okay, I'm, I'm getting close to the wall now, I need to get out of the way. I'm out, of, right, I'm out of the way of the wall. There's distance being made. I'm getting pokes in. It's free damage. See, I sidestepped there because I was near the wall. I could have got a better, better move than that, but... Now he's at the wall, I can do some moves myself. He's tried to get out of the way of the wall now, and now I'm back there, but I'm also in the lead now. Finish it with a quick low, just as before. Okay. So... I think those are really the main important tips now. If you the first at least the beginning stages if you're going to become an intermediate player. Movement. Backdash quickly. IE 
just back down, 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 back down. You can you can double tap back and then down, double tap back, double up. And you just do it like that. That's how you can backdash simply. And if you want to move to the side, that's just a general, as you know. As far as creating space, use the strings your characters have. You can see, you can go into your command list and you can see which are the fast mids they have. Fast mids that have distance. And you can also look at your strings, which strings are good for creating distance. This move moves like halfway across the screen, so this creates good distance. And once you have those two and you're creating space, the next thing to do is to go on the offense. You need to surprise your opponent. And that's what I do. And that's how I usually get in a lot of damage and a lot of pokes. Backdash and then attack. Backdash and then attack. And this way you can avoid having to know the mix-ups, having to block everything perfectly because at the end of the day it's going to be very difficult blocking is something that comes to you over time the ability to react to moves because you know them so well so Kazumi is a character I've not actually played against so all of her moves all of her mix-ups I won't even know see I did not even know that was a thing I can back dash so she's got fireball and projectile I can just dodge them out of the way I can sidestep Okay, see, I was able to backdash and then now I'm able to go on the offense. And I'm totally at the advantage now, so I can do whatever I want. But at the end of the day, I'm going to backdash again. There's nothing she can do. I'm going to create distance. Right, that would have required a really good punish. Again, I could have punished that greater, but I'm just creating distance at this moment in time. Because I don't need to do anything but create distance. Now I'm going to mix it up and do a lot of offense, which is going to get her flustered because she has not been expecting that. finish out with a short and quick low. Always. Okay, I'm going to create some more distance again. Create some distance. Create some distance. Go in for the quick quick forward attacks create some distance well you've won the match at this point anyway so do whatever you need to do quick low as always will always work so those are my basics for the game and I hope you learn everything that you do need to become a slightly better player if you are a beginner player still maybe not in the green ranks yet or just attain the green ranks. These are how I usually beat the majority of people. As you can see, I haven't actually lost a match while I'm teaching you how to play. So, what I'd suggest is continue to watch my gameplays, how I'm playing, and also continue to watch the high level Korean gameplays that I'm posting as well, as you learn a great deal from the way they're playing. So, until next time, guys, and my next tutorial, cheers.